Jen says, uh, I have a goal to move my many, many, many small trainings and templates into a digital product format. I have about 30 trainings that I only ever gave to my mastermind or membership folks. I'd like to leverage them, especially so that the DIY people on my list can have access to these as bite-sized nuggets and implement better copy and messaging and systems. I wanna use my Kajabi site and assets to do this, not ready to learn or invest in Shopify. Do you have advice on best practices or things to avoid as I start setting this up? My assistant is incredible and will be helping me. Thanks for any insights you provide. Okay, so first of all, with Kajabi, it really depends on what plan you have, right? So you, we could see in the growth plan, you get 15 products. I mean, we have a, I have a workaround for this that I'm going to tell you about. But then with the pro, you get 100 products. So obviously, if you have the pro plan, a no-brainer would be to, you could get all 30 of those trainings up there as a separate product, right? And then you could, as you know, in Kajabi, when you create an offer, so let's say, you want to create a bundle of four specific trainings to give to this person who needs these particular four trainings, then you would be able to bundle it at the offer, off, offer level. So, you know, you put an offer out there for the blah, blah, blah training package, and you put a price on it of $147 at the offer level. And when you're creating that offer, it allows you to choose what products go into this offer. So when they purchase that offer, that automatically gets added to their library. So it's pretty slick and it, it and you get to use, you know, you get to keep everything under the umbrella of Kajabi from purchase to fulfillment. However, if you don't have the uh the pro plan and you have the growth plan or even the basic plan, basic you only get 3 products, then a workaround for this would be to have one vault like where you you put all these trainings into one vault like one that could be like in a in a google drive let's say okay and then you could have your your offer on kajabi so you you create the checkout page and you charge whatever you're going to charge and then you could set up an automation so that the email that they get sends them a link to not that giant vault. I actually don't remember why I put that vault thing there. But anyway, it, it links you to that individual training. And even better than the drive folder, what's even easier is if you get your assistant to upload each of these training videos to Amazon S3, right? Because now, I mean, talk about like an elegant streamlined process, it would go like this. Your offer would be in Kajabi. Um, they would purchase. You could set up all the automations to go with that. So actually I made slides for this. So you're going to create your offer right here. Okay. And then when you do that, it asks you like what, what happens after they purchase. Okay. So right here, they get a custom email. So this is completely automated. So then they're going to get an email that is going to have that Amazon S3 link. Okay. So now you're going to have it totally automated. So with this offer for this training, you're going to, and if and maybe you want to put three videos in this particular offer, well, you just put those three Amazon S3 links and there's no barrier for them. Now they click on it and they just get the video. And if you want PDFs to go with it, put the links to the PDF in there too. So, you know, sometimes we complicate things to death in order to make them like super fancy funnels, but literally this is buy it, automatically deliver them, deliver them the product. And you have no limit because you just don't on Amazon S3, you're never going to run out of memory over there. And it's the perfect job for a virtual assistant to do that for you because you don't have time to upload 30 videos. And then I've got another slide coming up. Sorry, Jen, just to be clear. So you're saying instead of like paging them through a sequence that you do on Kajabi, they just get all a dump of all 30. No. On S3. No, forget that. Like I should have never done this thing where I talked about the vault and all. The oh, things. okay. Just, 
pretend you never saw that. Okay. Really, I don't know. You know how sometimes you, it was a good idea at the time, and but I don't remember what my thought process was when I when I made that particular slide. I'm sure it was something that made was good, but right now I can't remember it. And I like this better anyway. Okay. So no, it's you're gonna upload all 30 videos into Amazon S3. OK, and maybe you do create a folder on Amazon S3 and you call it the vault. OK, and all of those all of those individual videos are going to get uploaded there. Then on the Kajabi end, you're going to create the offer and you're going to tell Kajabi that when someone purchases this offer, they're going to get a custom email. And in that email, you're just going to simply provide um a link to however, whichever specific videos in that folder you want to send. Because that's the thing. Like Jen does, if Jen wanted to give access to all 30 videos, she would have kept her membership site. You know what I mean? Like she, she, she dismantled her membership site. She now has, but she has all these trainings she wants to leverage for different reasons, for different purposes, for private clients. Maybe she wants to throw together a Black Friday offer, whatever. This gives her the freedom to craft anything she wants with this, with this content in a really, really simple way. So when they click the Amazon S3 link, they don't go to a, Kajabi's out of the picture now. Kajabi is just there for the, the purchase, but also at the purchase level. And, you know, hopefully y'all are taking advantage of your Kajabi automations because they really are amazing. So now we can also subscribe them to an email sequence, tag them, okay? Because all this is going to happen at the purchase level. They purchase and you're going to have it set up. So, okay, they buy it. Now I'm going to subscribe them to a special sequence that I'm going to write just for this video or just for these three videos, okay? And then I'm going to tag them. They purchased the Black Friday offer uh, and, um, Anything else you want to do, you can do right there at the offer, le offer level. So it was a great question, Jen.